Bitcoin.org, Bitcoin, S-E-O-U-L.org, for active investors with over 50 Bitcoin in play. We help you manage it. Okay, so what happens if China um, nationalizes their exchanges? Uh, so what does that mean, actually, uh, if China nationalizes an, uh, an exchange, a Bitcoin exchange? Does that mean that you're going to have the Red Party Bitcoin exchange? Does that mean that you're going to have um, uh, Mao Zedong Bitcoin exchange or uh, Xi Jinping a Bitcoin exchange? No. Nothing in China is Red Party gas station, Red Party bank. Well... The bank is kind of People's Bank of China, but still, they have board members, just like an American corporation. They have uh, their own governmental board. They have their own uh, board of directors. They have their own CEO type structure. The only thing is, it's strictly regulated by the Chinese government. Kind of like, in fact, the easiest way to explain this is like um, the power companies, power and utility companies, SDG&E, Ma Bell, um, Pacific Bell, uh, all these uh, phone companies that used to exist. Regulated utilities. They have their own shareholders. They have their own governmental board. They have their own everything corporate. It's just run super corporate. Only only difference is it's highly accountable to the government. And it's price regulated so that the government can actually make as much of a profit as possible. So you can't um, hide your taxes in Ireland like Google, Apple, IBM, uh, uh, and all these other companies are doing. <clears throat> anyway, that's what it means. So... Uh, what's going to happen to Binance or um, uh, OKCoin okay or, or some of these other uh, big exchanges? Are they going to suddenly become OK Mao Zedong and Bai Jinping? No, they're just going to stay exactly the way they are. Only difference is they're just going to get um, more direct government um, oversight. So nothing stru structurally going to change. So don't worry, don't freak out. If anything... If the Chinese government does this, they're going to be able to more efficiently, and I know uh, the Bitcoin core team hates when I say this, but China is all about centralization. China is not about decentralization. Um, so, which is where Bitcoin Cash comes in, which is where NEO comes in. The more you centralize, the more aggressive and assertive you can be, the faster you can react to uh, nimble changes in the market. The more decentralized you are, the more defensive you are, the harder it is for you to be attacked. But on the other hand, it's also harder for you to be proactive and aggressive. So uh, decentralization is a defensive tact and centralization is an offensive tact, which means that Chinese uh, exchanges, if they become decentralized, or sorry, if they become more centralized and government regulated and um, nationalized by the Chinese government, it means they're just going to be more aggressive in earning your business. They're going to want to take money from Korean exchanges. They're going to want to take money from European exchanges, from American exchanges, and siphon it all into China. That's their plan. Right now, there's no singularized, uh, monopolized method of aligning all the Chinese forces to suck in international monies into China. And that's all they're trying to do. So what would it take for you to leave Bittrex and Poloniex and go over to a Chinese exchange? Well, they would have to treat you better than Bittrex and Poloniex, right? That's what they're going to do. Bitcoinsoul.org, 